Is anyone familiar with the name John Mitchell? Raise your hand if you heard of John Mitchell. Has anyone heard of Mother Jones, Mother Mary Jones, labor leaders? They stood in this square over 100 years ago in 1902 when the 160 miners, 160,000 anthracite miners went on strike across the anthracite region from the Lackawanna Valley to the Wyoming Valley all the way down to Pottsville. And the, the history of that was the anthracite was what the, the East Coast needed to fuel their homes. And when they went on strike against James Pierpont Morgan, J.P. Morgan, who lived out of state, who owned all their workplaces, who had unsafe mines, was sending children to the mines. They said, we want safety in our workplace, number one. We want to be treated with respect, number two. We want recognition of our union so that we have democracy in our workplace. When they went on strike, Teddy Roosevelt at the time convened the labor leaders in the White House and he said to J.P. Morgan, if you don't settle this strike, I'll take the U.S. Army and take over all the mines in Northeast Pennsylvania. So they sat in this courthouse for six months and 600 miners, their wives, their children testified about the conditions in the, inside the mines. So the, and Clarence Darrow was their, was their attorney, he gave a two-day closing, closing argument. He said, not even wolves kill their own young, but we send our children into the mines. And that strike didn't end child labor. But 10 years later, compulsory education in our public schools became the law of the land in Pennsylvania, and our kids were pulled out of the mines and the mills and put into schools. So they didn't see the direct result of their, of their fight. They didn't win recognition of their union either. So it's sometimes the strike isn't always won in the immediate sense. But it's the, the movement that we build moving forward that's very important. And in that strike, I want to recognize Mother Jones, who said, let's not settle, let's go on strike two more months and then it'll be winter time and they'll have to give us everything we want. She led the miners' wives from each town, from uh, over the mountains and into each cold patch. And the wives would stand at the doors of the miners and say, you're not going to work today, you're on strike. So there's, there's a fight inside of our labor movement. There's a, there's a, a side that we get, when we get tired, we like to settle. But all of us are brothers and sisters in labor. And it's so important. You don't have to like each other, but you have to love each other.